What's up, tubers? Welcome back to the channel. Got another uh, treat for you. Today we're looking at the Fujimi 124 scale Z28 Underground Camaro. Uh, this was another Facebook Marketplace score. Saw this listed. Uh, they wanted $25. I asked them if they'd take $20. They said yes. So I zipped on over there and picked it up. It's a curbside. It's pretty cool. It was um, opened but sealed inside. And you know, these Fujimi kits come with tape on them anyway. So whatever, cellophane, schmellophane. So we're gonna pop the top, dump it, flip it, dump it, check it. And then we're going to proceed forward after that and do a, uh, I think we'll do a time-lapse build of this. It's a pretty simple kit. Really uh, limited parts count. In my experience, these low parts count Fujimi kits go together pretty quickly and pretty nicely. Um, like the mini that I just finished. I'll put a picture up here of it. Came out pretty cool. Um, I made mine into a dirt rally racer. I'll put a link in the description below of the unboxing of that kit and of the uh, build slideshow. So with this, let's... Uh, crack into it. The instructions are really simple. And it, one thing I did notice when I was looking at it, it's kind of interesting. It's got, um, it's the second time I've come across this where the kit is designed to house a batteries and a motor, I guess. As you can see, it's clearly marked as positive and negative terminals. It's got uh, space for four ah, batteries. And the bottom side of it, like I said, I kind of peeked at this a little bit and looked, but um, you can see the bottom side or under the chassis has a, you know, it looks like a transmission. So it's not just some weird plastic thing. And, you know, that's about it. It's pretty limited in parts. I mean, you can see that's, that's all there is. Is that all there is? That's all there is. And I'm just going to dump these out too. Well, I mean, I'll take the tires out. We can look at those. I'm going to keep the little, uh, come on, I'm get it out of here. Get out of there. the box. It's got four good looking tires, a metal axle, and um, two screws, and the uh, tire nibs, wherever those went. I know they were here somewhere. Oh, there they are. The little holders for the wheels or axles. I don't know what you call those. I call them nibs. Nib, 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 nib. <laughs> Making words up. So we'll put those back in there and keep them, keep them safe. And then, so that's it. There's really a pretty limited parts count in this kit. And like I said, they go together pretty quick, pretty easily, you know, with uh, a little bit of paint and a little bit of detail. They come out nice. It's got a good looking body, little minor, really minor mold lines. Those will sand out nicely. Feels good. It's got some decent details. Prominent side markings and you know, the door handles and stuff. And it's got the option of cutting that open and putting the T-top glass in, which I will definitely be doing. Single piece front and rear windshield and rear glass, headlights, uh, side markers, rear rear tail lights. Well, that's an oxymoron, isn't it? Rear tail lights. Not sure what those are. Looks like they, looks like they would be exhaust or something. I I don't know. I, again, peeked at it and I looked in the instructions and I couldn't see anything for those parts where they might go. 
Are they listed as not being used? No. Oh, yeah, they are, actually. It says these uh, Fujimi kits, if they're dark, those are parts that it's uh, that you won't be using. It says that on here somewhere in this. Uh, ugh, yeah, okay, whatever. And then the decal sheet, which is really nice. Looks really good. Those decals will look pretty slick on this thing. And I happen to have a can of some gunmetal, bright gunmetal. It'll look really good. Building it like the box, or OOB, as people like to say. So, you know, the parts, uh, I mean, I guess we can go through them. Not a lot to look at. There's some straight parts and some round parts and some flat parts and some rectangular parts. <laughs> it's, it's really simple. There's not much to it. So, I'm going to uh, do this one in a time lapse. I'll go ahead and uh, speed the cameras up and start doing a little bit of prep that's involved, get some paint on it, and then we'll come back and talk about it a little bit before I do the final assembly. Got two different wheel options. Um, I like those. Those look those look pretty cool. I was kind of hoping that maybe where'd those go? Either those might fit, the oversized Coke bottles, or the deep dish rallies. But, uh, I mean, I guess I could just glue those on there. But it, it just wouldn't, it's not deep enough. It wouldn't look right. So I'm just going to do it, you know, with what's in the box. And uh, we'll, like I said, go ahead and get the scene prepped. Get some parts glued together, get some paint on it, and uh, we'll be back. So I'm going to speed the cameras up here and get into it. Thank you. 
It didn't take that long. Uh, I don't know, about an hour to get to this point. Um, really, nothing to glue. The only thing to glue was uh, the mirrors, and uh, I can see some boogerage going on there. But you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. Um, really, really, like I said, really simple kit. Kind of weird. I noticed that uh, the I didn't notice until I was putting it together the interior tub is really shallow I don't know if you can tell that or not but here we'll just show you um, get the windows put in I was doing some test fits and I realized that no, I'll do it without the window like it's really shallow that's kind of weird. Never seen that before. So I guess this is supposed to be more of a toy or an RC car or something more than a more than a model. So I don't know. Whatever. I'll uh, shoot that with the with the nice brown and maybe put some carpeting color in there and you know we'll we'll make it look nice. So uh, like I said, it was about an hour to get to this point. Just a little bit of. A little bit of gluing with these mirrors. They were kind of a pain. They didn't want to sit on there right. Um, I'm glad I did it now. It's always kind of a drag to try to put your mirrors on later and it just it makes a mess out of your paint. So I'd rather, you know, uh, hide it with a little bit of paint before than after. So. I'm gonna give that a little bit of a fine sand just to feather it out a little bit. There's, you know, because I mean, I don't know if you could see in the time lapse there that it took me about six or seven tries. I almost just shined it on completely. Um, I did notice in the test fitting that the T tops, the uh, skylights, are not gonna fit very well. Where's the, where's the one I have? my test piece um, I mean there's there's a big gap in there I mean I guess I could glue down one side uh, and that's where I discovered the interior was so shallow I was thinking what I could do is just set them in the back seat um, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the roof parts that I cut out as if those are you know like in a real t-top you take those off and put them in the car somewhere usually in the trunk but I don't know we'll see we'll see how it goes so I'm gonna shoot some primer on this thing and get some little bits of finish color on the other stuff and uh, go from there primer schmimer 
I just shot the uh, Tamiya right on top of the plastic. Seems to work pretty good. You can see some scuff marks from my sanding, but you know what? I don't really care. I'm kind of over it. I'm kind of over caring about the, how the models come out. I build them. They sit on a shelf. Nobody sees them but me. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it's about the process more than the actual finished product. It really is. Uh, I just enjoy, you know, prepping them and putting them together. I mean, it's going to look good. It'll look good. It's just, I noticed there's some little bits of flaw with probably would have fixed that with some primer, but I don't know. It's going to look good. You know, the decals on it and everything all uh, detailed up. Yeah, looks nice. So this thing will, uh, I'll let it set and dry for a little while. This, uh, what is this, a Rust-Oleum, I think, the Rust-Oleum metal stuff. Yeah, it takes a while to dry. The The rest of it, the Model Masters and the Tamiya, this stuff will be ready in, you know, an hour at the most. Like, this, this stuff's probably, it, yeah, it's already hard. Not hard, but, you know, it's not wet anymore. It's not soft. So, there you go. We're going to... Um, Turn the cameras off and uh, let the stuff dry for a while, and then when I come back, I'll have it off the off the little holders and laid out, and uh, we'll start gluing it together and put some decals on and be done. It's probably my quickest build to date.
the Fujimi 124 scale Z28 underground Camaro. Kind of a neat kit. Um, as I got more and more into it, I realized that this is a slot car. It, it has to be. I mean, there's a space there for probably the slot motor thing, uh, a bunch of batteries. I mean, that's my guess anyways. Um, I, I, I'm not sure. I don't know. But, you know, it's cool. Um, something else I noticed while I was building it, uh, the decals are still wet. i got to be careful where I hold it. Um, the Because of the battery box that's in there, look at how shallow the interior tub is. They made it just enough so there's a little bit of a depth. So, you know, it's an optical illusion. But, whatever. Pretty cool. Zero details on the bottom. I just stopped. I ran a Sharpie for a minute. I'm like, whatever. So, pretty cool. You know, not bad for a $20 marketplace score. It'll look good on the shelf. You know, for the uh, Fujimi Z28 Underground Camaro. I have no idea what that means. What that's about. There was also some other decals for the back for the tail it was supposed to say underground Camaro underground welcome to the underground yeah whatever I opted to not use those <coughs> uh, you know red white and blue America or actually it's not even white huh interesting well I guess there's just the box art is but pretty cool you know I dig it. It's not the typical Camaro that you see. You know, everybody builds the 68, 69s. So, that about does it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe, all that internet horse hockey. Or not. Do what you want. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.